So I want to introduce you to my cold frame. We started this about three weeks ago. And so far, we're having some good results. So made this out of scrap laying around. Just had some boards and you can see I think this is just quarter inch uh, plywood. Doubled it up, put some stuff in the middle, laid some bricks down in the dirt. And I use spray foam. I guess I didn't really have to. But uh, this is because this year, this garden is going to have lots and lots of new stuff, lots of perennials. So I needed to get stuff going pretty early. You can see we already, after three weeks, have some good growth. We're going to do some, let's see, rosemary, sage, tarragon, thyme, fennel, borage, salad burnet, calendula, cilantro, chamomile, catnip, dill, lemon balm, marjoram, oregano, parsley, Whorehound, lovage, some garlic chives. I already have some some plain old chives that are kind of coming back right there. We'll just use those. Some summer savory. Uh, James wanted to plant some bluebells, lavender, basil, and chervil. I had a few others that I wanted to plant, but I had a hard time sourcing the seeds locally. Uh, anyway, in here, hopefully they'll come out. Uh, I've got some Edelweiss. And in these little pots, we've got some cone flowers. I had some stuff going in here, but I think I have a slug that I have to annihilate. So I just threw some, uh, some yucca I found locally. I found a little seed pod from some yucca, and I just threw the seeds in there. We'll see what happens. Anyway. This has been doing really well. I've got this little logging thermometer in here, so uh, the hottest it's been is 100 degrees. Coldest it's been is 39. I think the coldest night we've had since I've had this up has been in the low 20s. So that was probably that night. So it's been doing pretty well. Uh, humidity varies wildly. I don't know how accurate this thing is. Um, I have had a problem keeping this thing humid. When we first put these things in here, they'd dry out almost, well, they would dry out in less than a day. So I took some sawdust and put it under everything, and I keep that soaked, and it seems to be doing pretty well. I don't have any heating in here. You can see I have some 2-liter and 1-liter bottles that I painted the inside black and filled with water. These stay nice and toasty warm after they've been in the sun, keep things warm at night. The big thing I was worried about was the ventilation. So they sell these uh, um, wax-charged pistons that you can put on your, your greenhouse windows and they will absorb the heat and when they get hot enough they open and open the window. And I was looking online, you can get them for between 15 and 20 bucks, but reading all the comments, uh, people definitely did not like them and they didn't work and I didn't want to risk it for this installation. So I was going to go for a $35, $40 one. And then I thought, hey, I have this solar panel laying around not doing anything. I have some 12 volt batteries laying around not doing anything. So I spent 30 bucks and I bought a solar charge controller, this little cheap one. It seems to be doing just fine. It's keeping these batteries charged. And I also bought this little uh, temperature controller. So you can see right now it's 69.5 degrees. I've got the little lead running, uh, where is it? Yeah, you can see him sticking out right there. And what happens is when this little guy hits, I forget what I even set it at, uh, 95 degrees, this fan kicks on and it's vented out and then it shuts off. Yeah. So, right now 69.6. I keep it covered with this so things don't get too hot. It keeps the sun from baking everything. I keep it on there loosely to let things vent. 
so far it's been doing great uh, you can see I just took an old window that I found in the alley and I basically sized the whole thing for the window I had to cover it with some screen because this little fan was not able to keep up in direct sunlight when we had some temperatures up in the high 70s low 80s the other day I think this thing got up to got up to 105 so I had to put put those screens in and so far it's been it's been working beautifully I'll take the screen off to harden these things off when they get a little bigger but yeah working out well very excited after three weeks I'm hoping some of these other seeds pop up here pretty soon you can see I may have to reseed some of these guys there's nothing there and nothing there but I have thinned these the other thing is over on this side you can see there's two of these uh, what are these sage left and it looks like maybe there's another little guy coming up there I may reseed these this was this had all of the plants popping up and I'd come out here in the morning along with the plants I had in this one and there'd be a little goo of slime on them and I thought it might be some sort of mold or something in the soil I'm using but I'm starting to think I might have a slug so I'm gonna put a little cap full of beer in here and pour some salt down and see if that helps because I don't want a slug eating all my plants anyway that's it for now we'll uh, update you as things progress